The Water Cycle at Work by George Pendergast. Water questions. Have you ever wondered how clouds are made or where all that water goes when it rains? When you get a glass of water, where did it come from? To get the answers to these questions, you need to understand the water cycle. The water cycle is the movement of water on Earth and in the atmosphere. Water is traveling all the time. It can go deep underground and high up into the air. Many different forces help water move from place to place. Collecting water. Water collects in different places on Earth. More than 96% of water is salt water found in the oceans. Only 2.5% of Earth's water is fresh water found in rivers, lakes, and underground. When water on Earth heats up, it becomes steam or water vapor. This change is called evaporation. Warmth from the sun often causes evaporation. The warm water vapor in the air moves high into the sky. Way up high. Water vapor gets colder the higher it goes into the air. It starts to become liquid again. This is called condensation. The water collects and forms clouds. Wind moves clouds around as more water collects to make them bigger. When too much water condenses and clouds get too heavy, the water falls back to earth. This is called precipitation. Precipitation comes in many forms. It can be rain, snow, hail, or any mix of these. Down it goes. When precipitation falls, it often lands back on Earth's surface. Precipitation can collect in the oceans to become salt water or in lakes as fresh water. Gravity can also pull water down into the ground where it becomes groundwater. Plants absorb some groundwater, but most goes through rock and soil and reaches the water table. The water table is the point in the ground where water completely fills in the parts between rock and soil. This is, this is called the zone of saturation. And here is the water cycle. Precipitation falls as rain, snow, or hail. Collection becomes salt water, fresh water, or groundwater. Evaporation, heat creates water vapor. Condensation, Water vapor cools as it rises. Coming back up. Gravity moves water down, but many things bring it back up. Water can be brought up to the surface by tree roots. People can dig wells to reach it too. This helps keep the water cycle moving. The end. For more information, Check out these websites, The Water Cycle, many different websites. Freeze frame this picture so you can have a reference to these sites. Thanks for watching about The Water Cycle at Work.